Welcome back to Hogwarts with the Rude Man. And um, yeah, we got our, our room kind of put together. I'm going to get rid of these things here because uh, I don't need rugs down. It's a beautiful floor. Um, so, but it made me put them down to teach me how to do it. So I'm going to, I'm going to take those up, but let's see here. It was, uh, this one. So let's take, oh, it's already in there. It's right there. Sweet. All right. Let's just switch to that. And then we're going to get rid of those. Now notice we're getting moonstones for that. So that's what we need to do this building is the moonstones. Okay, and then uh, I put some pictures up, up there. I don't really need them, but I might just leave them up for now. Look at my Christmas tree, ain't it cool? So, um, you know, I was thinking about the gameplay, and, you know, I should be... I've got him dressed in, in uh, a robe that I got for ordering the, uh, ex the, the special edition... I don't think that's what they call it, but that's what I got it for. Uh, but, you know, actually, he's in school. He's a student. He should be dressing like a student. And when he goes outside, like especially now that it's winter, he should be dressing in winter clothing. So I'm going to start doing that. We're going to start uh, wearing the appropriate clothes. So um, let's see what I have to do first. Am I going to be staying in or am I going to go out? Uh, map Chamber, Professor Garlic. Acquire and use Venomous uh, Tentacalia. Acquire and use Mandrake. I got to check and see if I have that stuff. Um, this one here, if you remember, I screwed up. And I was supposed to use the Thunder Brew while I was fighting. And I didn't do that. So I went and got another one. And you may remember I didn't have enough money. Uh, I sold some clothing. And, uh, and had enough money to buy one. So I do I do have one now, a Thunder Brew. So we'll go do that. The uh, keys, we can, we can continue looking for those. But you know what I was thinking is these collection of things like the keys and, and things like that. That's just me running around the castle looking for these and gathering them. So I think what I'm going to do is actually do that. I'm going to run around and find them. And I'm only going to record me finding them. So you don't have to see me running around going the wrong, down the wrong corridor and not finding anything and going up the stairways and down the stairways and stuff. I'm going to cut all of that out and you'll just see me getting them. But uh, I don't want to do that in this episode. I'll do that maybe in the, in the next episode so that uh, I can finish that. Uh, quest line and get credit for it. The test flight. I need to speak with e Imelda Reyes at the Quidditch pitch, which we will do. And I need to deliver some stuff for um, the, the, uh, the potion seller. Let's go do that because I'm bound to run into uh, a monster that I can use that potion on. So let's go do that. So we're going to leave Hogwarts. So that means we need some winter clothes on. So let's see what we've got. He's got a pair of gloves on. We can we can um, use the gloves. Let's pick one that looks like it's warm. Or do any of them really look like they're warm? That one looks like it's kind of warm. We'll, we'll do that one. And then uh, for a robe, let's see if I've got anything that looks like a, a winter robe. Not really. What's that one? That one looks a little quilted. Yeah, that one looks a little quilted. It doesn't look like a, a winter one, but there is one out there that looks like it's made out of some kind of uh, animal hide, uh, but I don't have it. So we'll just do that one for now. And then um, let's see about clothing. I should be wearing the proper clothing 
for uh, a student. So let's see what we've got in proper clothing for students. Perfect vest uniform. Stylish. That might not be too bad, that one right there, because it is school, school color type thing. So we'll put that one on. And then uh, we're going to need something around our throat because it's cold outside. So let's pick... Uh, that one should be fine. And then... What do we have for a warm hat? Anything? Uh, it doesn't look like it. I got a night hat. That's <laughs> That doesn't look like it's warm, though. What's that right there? A nomad hat. Nah. The, that top hat's kind of weird looking. Let's see what it looks like. Oh, man, that's ratty. It's a, it's a tattered one. How about um, that one? All right, this is what we'll do for now. I know it looks kind of clowny. We'll be getting more, more uh, clothing as we play. So we have a owl post that we haven't read from Professor Fig. Come and see me as soon as you can. I've returned from a rather unproductive trip to the ministry, hoping your time has been more fruitful than mine, Professor Fig. Okay, so let's go finish our quest outside, and then we'll come back and speak with the old professor. Does it get any more cozy than Hogsmeade? Hello there. In the market for potions, are we? All right, see if he's got something for me. What can I do for you today? I hope to see you again. Farewell for now. All right, starting from the uh, potion store, we're going to run out of town here. Yeah, this, this robe isn't exactly, you know, made out of buffalo hide, but it does look quilted. So it does look like it might be just a tad warmer than, than the cloth ones that we have. We did buy a broom, didn't we? That means we can fly. Although I don't know where to fly to, so. It's showing me on the map. Does it show me on the map where I need to go? It does. Okay. So I can actually fly there. Wow, it's a ways away. Okay, what is it? It's uh, Keenbridge. Keenbridge. All right. So there are some sites uh, on the way. There's one right here. So let's let's set a we'll set a waypoint there. And then um, there's a teleport site that we can pick from that. That's why I chose it. So. We're, we're mapping out where we need to go is what I'm doing. Let's see, it's that purple site right there. Seems a pleasant enough little place. You 
can't imagine how inconvenient travel was before I invented flu powder. Okay, we got that one. Looks like there's a quest up here. I can't go back there. Okay, but but I do have some... I'm, the quests are kind of getting carried away on me again. I'm going to work a few before I take another one. Okay. At least we know where it's at, so that's not a problem. Let's do this one here. I'm trying to pick these up on the route. We need to do some more Merlin quests because uh, that's what increases my inventory space. Because I'm I'm going out on quests and I'm filling up with with uh, clothing too fast, and not just clothing, but other items. It's been ages since I've found anything worth poaching near Cragcroft. Is that a bad guy? I need to fight a bad guy. Before I do, though, I need to make sure I've got the right... Let's see, I need to have the uh, Thunderbrew in my inventory. The Ministry ought to relax their feelings towards the Dark Arts. Levioso. <laughs> this isn't a fair fight! Okay, there's the Thunder Brew. Yes! Your poaching days are over. Okay. So that's all I had to do. Man, that is, that is something, isn't it? Look, there's a Merlin thing here. Let's get it while we're here. If we can, could it be? If we can figure it out. A Merlin trial. All right, now let's see. Uh, we gotta figure out what to do on this. Let's see if Depulso will do it. Depulso. Nope. Um, this one. Confringo. There we go. Confringo did it. Fire. These Merlin trials won't get the best of me. So there's a lot of quests like this to do. Uh, pick this up, take that there, protect this person. Go find this for me. There's a lot of that. And so I don't want to forget me or you that there is a story that we're doing and it's a good story. So we need to really soak in the story. It is pretty good as we're as we're going through the game. All right, now there should be is it in here? It is. Revelio. What are you up to now? I'm stealing for this from these poor people. Oh, I thought there was somebody in the bed. They've got their blankets like there's supposed to be somebody in the bed. That's something a child would do. It's so funny that they just let me steal things. I could go up and get that one. Yeah, let me run up there and get that one. While, while we're traveling down... I should be picking these things up because that's going to save me some time in the long run. So let's mark that one. Wow, how marvelous. How marvelous. So marvelous. Train tracks. Okay, 
There's another Merlin. Let's see what's up your sleeve this time, Merlin. Okay. Let's see what we got. So far, I haven't run out of this Mallow Suite. All right, now this one... Right, there we go. This one, we have to find butterflies. And then, let's see, I need my... Uh, I need my wand. Lumos. Gather the butterflies and bring them back. And put them in here. And look for more. This game is really fun. I'm really having a good time with this game. I, I almost didn't buy it because I thought, oh, it's Harry Potter. And, uh, I mean, I never had a Harry Potter game before. I, mean, I do like role-playing games. I, that's my favorite game is a role-playing game. One that's got a story to it. There's some more. But I just didn't even consider this one. Oh, well, not just this one, but this franchise, the Harry Potter. I mean, I watched the movies. I read the books. You know, they were. I was entertained. But I'm certainly no fan uh, in the respect that, you know, I just go gooey gooey over it. Not so tricky after all, Marlin. But my my son said he he got it, and I thought, well, maybe we can play together or something. And and so um, I went ahead and ordered it, and I'm so glad I did. It's a lot of fun. I've got a hundred and, and what was it, a hundred and ten or twelve hours on it already. Okay, now I saw something I needed to get. Let's see, where was it? Something I wanted to collect. There. Up on the hill. Those eggs. We use these for a potion that I that I brew. I can't remember which one. But you don't see these everywhere. Some of the things you see everywhere, like the mushrooms. But those you don't see just everywhere. Alright. Get back on the old broom. And where were we headed? This way. It's like a place right out of a storybook. Handy resource indeed, your field. Be strong, Alexandra. There was a quest there too, I think. So yeah, there is a quest there too. We'll have to come back and do those. I'll save this route because I'll be going down that way some other time. Let's just get on with this. We need to get here and get our get our quest done. Then an old ruin too take a look at later. All right, let's see here. I want to see the Hogwarts train come by. That'd be cool. I don't know if it runs during the game. I mean, we've seen it in cutscenes. Oh, wow, what's this? Is that a Merlin thing? It is. Let's see if I still got enough of that. We oh, what's that? Just deer? I know what that means. Merlin trial. Yeah. Which one is this? There are a few of them I, I haven't figured out. But let's see if we can figure this one out. Oh, look at that big green spider over there. Hey, that's not it. Accio. That's not it. Expelliarmus. That's not it. Hmm. There's the train. 
Oh, wow. Just as I said that, the train shows up. Compulsor. Well, that must not be what I'm supposed to do. This looks intriguing. Well, it's got a mark on it. Oh, what's that? There's a spider after me. Revelio. Okay, what am I supposed to do? So I, I got to figure out what to do with this. It's different. Confirmed. Oh, that worked. Maybe I was just too far away when I did it. Revelio. Depulsa. Confirmed. Revelio. Confringo. Merlin himself would be proud. Oh shit. Hey, there's a cemetery down there. Wonder who lives here. Right, let's go find our person. Is it that Pippin should have been here by now? This is her. Hello. Madam Luang, I have a delivery from J. Pippin's potions. Sent a child to do his work for him, did he? Always cutting corners and taking the easy way out. Did he have your brew them for him as well? Doesn't matter. You could probably do it better than he can anyway. Here are the potions you requested. You think it's so simple? I know Pippin is always trying to cheat his customers. Cutting corners to save some galleons for himself at the expense of quality. You'll not be getting a canut out of me until you prove the potion works. Drink it. Well, that's kind of rude. Seems simple enough. I'll do it. I should think so. Well, she's just nasty. He must have gave me an extra one. It seems to have worked. Hmm. Well, I suppose that will do. If the demand for potions is as high as you say, have you considered being easier to work with? Perhaps combining your recipes and skills? Ha! <laughs> Not a chance. That ne'er do well had his shop handed to him. The rest of us had to make our own way. I'll not give him the benefit of my hard work and gumption. If he fails on his own, so be it. Okay, well, that's not quite right either. He inherited it. Um, it doesn't mean he still doesn't have to work hard to keep it. Very well. I shall let Mr. Pippin know I delivered the potions as requested. You do that. What do you have for sale? Let's see if this cheers her up. What are we looking for today? Well, now you're just all happy. I might buy something. I might sell something. No, I can't sell anything because I don't have anything. Um, what's that? Oh, I don't know. I got tons of that. All right. Thank you for stopping in. Yep. I appreciate oh, it. Of course you do. She's all happy now. Uh, there's another Merlin there. Look, there's no nothing pulling that wagon. That's kind of cool. 
Let's see if this one. I know a Merlin trial when I see one. Let's see if we can do it. Uh, oh, I don't have any Mallow Sweet. I'm out of Mallow Sweet. Okay, that's okay. Soon we'll be able to make our own Mallow Sweet. Uh, grow it. It's a plant. Look, it's a music player. Hi, music player. New instruments are expensive, you know. I know. Here, I'll give you a tip, although I can't afford it. You are most kind. Yeah, you're very welcome. Keep up the good work. All right, let's get back to Hogsmeade. And we'll talk to Mr. Pippin. Sometimes it seems all roads lead to Hogsmeade. And, you know, we've been doing the Merlin quest, but this is what you need to remember. You re need to remember that we have to go in and select our rewards when we do this stuff. Let's just go in and clean this up real quick before we go talk to Mr. Piven. But uh, every time we find something new, like that egg right there, we need to accept that because... Uh, as we're collecting stuff, um, we're we're getting these things filled up right here. Combat, questing, exploring, field guide. And now we've got room of requirement that we can start collecting things. Um, and you get rewards for this, but you have to come in and physically accept them or you don't get the rewards. And so it's, it's, it's easy to forget to come in here. But see, like this one, we've got six of ten. If I reach 10, it doesn't give me the reward until I come in and accept it. So there's things in here that you could really use and you just don't go check on it. So it's a, a failure to communicate. Defeat mongrels. Okay, here's one. See, I've completed that. So now I get that set of out, that outfit there. And then we'll start on this one. Uh, we found a new monster. A new monster. Is that it? Must be it. And then we've got... Uh, talents. Let's see if we've got anything... On the stealth. Okay. Right, let's get this one. We're going to get all of these. I can't get that one. I'm not high enough level, but we're going to get all of those. And then let's see what we got in here. So um, that one we might get. I can get it now. And I can get this one. This one will help me. Increases um, Revelio. And this one, oh, that's the fourth spell one. I want that one. And then let's get this one. Might as well. I'm going to get it eventually. Let's get it now. 
Okay, what this one does is when I say I want to reveal things that I can't see, this gives me a wider range of that. And that other one gave me my fourth um, spell set. So now I have all four spell sets here that I can use. And I'm going to set these up. So um, I won't do it right now, but I want to set these up so they look just like the ones I'm using on my other characters because I'm building up money, uh, muscle memory uh, as to do that. And, um, and I want to make them all the same so that if it doesn't matter which character I'm playing, I'm hitting the proper button for the proper spell. Anyway, let's go talk to Mr. Pippin. We have everything a young student might need when it comes to potions. Oh, you know? Have a good look around. Okay, so I delivered your potions. I delivered the potions to Fatima Luang. Very good. And uh, did she cause you any trouble? Um, I could say, yeah, she was difficult, but that sounds whiny to me. My character's not a whiner. He He's somebody that takes care of the problem. Nothing to worry about. I handled it. Glad to hear it. And thank you again for your help. It was a pleasure doing business with you, Mr. Pippin. Likewise. <laughs> Worth every bit of that delivery fee to have someone capable deal with that witch. Best of luck with your potions, Mr. Pippin. Do take care. Now, surprisingly, he's not... He, he sounded like that, but he, he's got reason to be. She's nasty. You saw that. And she's really nasty to him. Um, but he said things like, you know, he'd, he'd buy her potions and, and wouldn't mind seeing, you know, learning from her and stuff like that. Um, you know, he's open-minded about it. She's just nasty. She's got a chip on her shoulder. All right, so let's see. What are we doing now? All right, so we should have finished Professor Sharp's assignment. We did because we used that Thunder Brew. And Professor, she wants me to acquire and use a venomous tentacula and use a mandrake on multiple animal enemies simultaneously. Let's see if we've got that. Okay, we do have the Chinese chomper, but we don't have a mandrake. And we don't have the tentacula. So... I don't know if I have enough money to do that. Do I have... Did I get any clothing? Welcome. Do let me know if I can be of any... Yeah, I don't think I have anything to sell. No, I don't. All right, we'll have to do... We'll have to work on that. I don't know how much that stuff cost. Right. Let's go check it out. Okay, so let's jump up here. Hogsmeade, here I come. This is the beast person. Let's see, we don't want to do that. Uh, I'm going to go up to this woman up here. I think she's got what I need. And we're just going to price it out. Greetings. <laughs> Come on inside. Oh, watch yourself, though. Revelio. I believe you're alive. Hello. Oh, hello. Whew. 
Sorry I'm in a bit of a tizzy. I was just scolding some of the plants for spitting and nipping. I suppose it's my own fault for putting more than four to a tray. By the way, Beatrice Green is the name, but you may address me as Madam Green. Welcome to Dogweed and Death Cap. Oh, uh, mind you don't knock the mandrakes. Oh, if there wasn't the constant demand for antidotes, I wouldn't need to stock so many of the little dears. Except, of course, for curses. And, well, if you've been petrified, then obviously you've come to the right place. <laughs> Mind you don't knock the mandrakes. Oh, if there's an uprooting, you'll be the next one to drop dead and I'm in no mood for a clear up. How many times is she going to say this? <laughs> uh, are you saying somebody died here? Someone died here? Aye. Fortunate, really, that it was just the one. Now then, how may I help you today? I think I'll just have a look around for now. Very well. Let me know if you see anything you like. All right, let's see what she's got. What do you have for sale? Well, what say we show you some of what's available? Okay, she's got these, which we're going to have to get. But as you can see, they're kind of expensive. But I need, oh God, 500 for a mandrake. And that's 600, so I don't have enough money. Do I? Not quite. Or do I? Okay, wait a minute. Was it a mandrake I needed? Doors always open. You be sure to stop by soon. Need to write things down. Okay, it's a venomous tentacula and a mandrake. I might have enough to get them. Let's see. I thought they were 12, but I think it's 11 something. Well... What say we show you some of what's available? Okay, let's get the expensive one first. Oh, I'm always thrilled when a young one makes a wise purchase. I can tell you'll go far. Okay, I'm down to 81. Okay. Doors always open. You be sure to stop by soon. Now we gotta go find something to fight. We're gonna go pick a fight. Does it get any more cozy than Hogsmeade? Gotta go pick a fight, and then we can go to class. Okay, acquire and use a venomous tenticula. That, I don't have to be in a fight. I just have to use it. Acquire and use a mandrake on multiple enemies simultaneously. So that one I do, and then I'm gonna get a, I'm gonna get a spell for this. So let's go out and see if we can find Something to fight. We're gonna fight. Let's see. Let's go to the forest here. East, north. Which one's... Forbidden Forest. There we go. I've always said that travel broadens the mind. Uh-huh, uh-huh. So I'm not going to take either of those until I get to something that's trying to kill me. That way, if I'm supposed to use that other one in a fight, I'll, I will be in the middle of one. Yeah, I don't want to go fight that thing. It's nasty. I'll fight something else. Um, besides, I need to find more than one enemy. Incendio. Oh, shoot. There's more than five. There's more than one here. Let's do that one first. Okay, and then let's do this one. Okay. Assignment tool finished. Ah. 
shield. Incendio. Why is it not getting that one? Protego. <laughs> Sometimes the wand gets a little. It's like it's got a mind of its own. It kind of takes over. Okay, I don't. I don't. Um, I don't think. I think I did everything I was supposed to do. So let's double check that before we leave. And uh, I can go talk to my professors. Attend class. Return to Professor Sharp. So I'm going to get two spells for this. So let's get home. All right, let's find my my classrooms. That's not it. That's not it. That's not it. That's not it. All right, where's my classes? Because those aren't it. Astronomy. Charms class. No, it wasn't the charms class. Okay, that's that's not. Well, I know one of them. I have to go down here. Let's do that one. I know where it's at. What are you up to now? Yuck. <laughs> I don't want to make a stew out of that cabbage. Wonderful to see you again. Hello. I've completed my assignments, Professor. Pleased to hear it. Professor Weasley will be too. I'll be sure to let her know how well you're coming along. Thank you, Professor. Professor Hecate tells me she taught you Levioso, so you should be ready for a more advanced levitation charm. Wingardium Leviosa requires a bit of concentration and a nice, graceful wand movement. Let's see you try your hand at it. When executed correctly, you should be able to pick up boulders as though they were sprigs of sneezewort. Uh-oh, I missed the last one. I still get it, though, I think. Sweet. Now, this one is nice because the other one just picks something up. Well done! Feel free to practice Wingardium Leviosa here in the greenhouse. I've set some crates out for you in the next room. Okay. In the next room, huh? All right, let's... Uh, it's this one here. And I'm just going to throw it in anywhere. For now, in the next room. This room? Okay, so this one's a little bit different because it lets me... Yeah, there it is. It let, <laughs> lets me pick it up and move around so I can move things around. That's, that's cool. I like that. All right, thank you, Professor. Where'd she go? What do I have on the map that I don't need?
There was something. No, it wasn't this one. There was something in here I wanted to get that I was growing. There, that's mine. Let me get that. Professor Garlic, a moment of your time? The plants are resting, so now's as good a time as any. I was wondering, what made you want to teach herbology? How lovely of you to ask. I've always had an affinity for greenery, so this situation is a bit of a dream come true. After graduation, I was thrilled to be asked to step in for my old herbology professor. He'd had a slight accident, you see. Oh dear. A shame for him, but it worked out well for you. Hmm. Well, he never cared. I mean, really cared for the plants, and they could sense it. Oh, you'd be surprised how perceptive a plant can be. At any rate, the trouble began one day when he cut into a Wigan tree. Unfortunately for him, its leaves were hiding a bow truckle. You may recall the marvellous creatures that resemble a twig. The little beast gouged the professor's eyes quite fiercely, but terrifying, I'd imagine. Uh, likely for the professor, too. And that's when you took over as the herbology professor? Well, not quite. After three weeks at St. Mungo's, my predecessor regained a tiny bit of his eyesight. He insisted on returning to the greenhouse. Within a week, he had, he claims by accident, kicked a Chinese chomping cabbage, so it was back to St. Mungo's for him. <laughs> That's almost comical. <laughs> yeah, I can't say that. I'm supposed to be a nice guy. What a string of bad luck. Hmm. Well, I felt awful for him, but I dare say I felt a bit more sympathy for the cabbage. Upon his discharge from the hospital, his indifference to plants had turned to utter disdain. He lost what little patience he had left with a particularly temperamental venomous tentacula and, well, his resulting leave of absence continues to this day. Would the plant eat him? I'm glad everything worked out as it did and that you're the herbology professor now. Very kind of you to say. I do love these gardens and helping my students grow. Huh. Lovely speaking with you. Have a wonderful day. Oh, and remember, be kind to your Wigan trees. <laughs> All right, so um, <laughs> I know somebody that acts like her. Uh, as a matter of fact, she named her son Forrest and her daughter Sky in one indeed, river. Your field guide. I'm most pleased to be included. All right, so, I to study in the so we have a new spell. We need to find our other teacher. Let's see if we can do that. Potions. Where were potions? What is that on the map? Get rid of that. Can we, can we get rid of that? There we go. Alright. Let's go back in here. And see if we can find... Astronomy, Charms, Professor Fig. Well, where in the heck is Potions at? Is that a different part of the castle? Oh, wait, 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 wait. I know how to do it. I know how to do it. Let's, um, let's get out of here and select the quest and see if that'll take us to it. There we go. Coming through. Oh, long way. Coming through. Here it is. I recognize it now. You can't imagine how inconvenient travel was before I invented blue powder. Oh, and I was going to say, that's an example of how I remember I said that uh, it's nice to go back and talk to the professors once in a while because... 
Have you finished your assignments? Because they've got other things to say. Yes, I have. I finished the tasks, Professor. Well, well. I trust you are meticulous in your efforts. After all, shortcuts only ever lead to shortcomings. Yeah, got that. Everything went well. Yes, sir, of course. Good. Ordinarily, I'd say it's not my concern either way, but you... I want to make sure you're well prepared. Talent and resolve are a potent combination. It would be a shame to let that go to waste. Thank you, Professor. Don't let it go to your head. Now, let's see how you fare with Defindo. Wand at the ready. Focus. Defindo can be dangerous if you're not paying attention. This is a slashing spell. Hmm. Very good. It seems you have a grasp on Defindo. I would encourage you once again to practice here in the classroom, for your sake and that of everyone else. Okay. Now, I already forgot that I was going to be addressing appropriately, so let's do that and... I don't need cold weather in, inside the castle. Although the castle might be kind of cold. Could be, could be. Uh, this is the traditional school robe. Put that one on. And then I think I've got the proper clothing already. But I don't need the gloves inside. So we'll take the love. All right, now I look like I'm proper for school. See, I look just like her. Oh, it's Poppy. Hey, Poppy. Right, so let's see. I didn't put that on my... On my... Uh, where do I want to put that? Let's put that... All right, let's put that there. I wanted to move these down, so I'll put this one there. And, uh, what else? These are going to have to change here. Um, da -dum, da -dum, da -dum. so I got that one. Confrigo, we'll put that in there. And then I'll need a, a yellow, a yellow spell. Would I only have one yellow spell? That's the one that's going to go here eventually, but I don't have it yet, so... We'll put that one there. Um, each one of the fighting sets, like I said before, I want, I want at least one of of all colors, and I don't I don't necessarily need any of this color, but for fighting. So you want a purple, a red, and a yellow for sure, because, like I said, if they're if they've got a barrier up, like a shield on them, it's colored. And you can break it with the same color spell. So I want to make sure I've got something to break those spells. Now this one has got purple. I'm trying to put the purple and the reds and the yellows and the you know together, so that uh, I know which button to push for purple. And uh, so I've got I'm going to be setting those up, and I've got a template I'm going to use. I just don't want to do it now. So. What were we looking for? We were looking for um, this one. So let's go to that. So it should be that right there. Nope, should be that one right there. See, now they're already backwards, so let's... It's a pleasure to have a student who actually heeds instruction. Thank you, sir. Appreciate it. So we got two new spells. Woohoo! Let's see, that is level 10. I should probably be getting on to that. Daedalin fleet flight test. We haven't done a flight test. All right, let's see. Where was she at? Was she in here? Ravenclaw. 
Amelda Ray's? Albie Week sent me. <laughs> Did he now? Still tinkering with his broom upgrade, no doubt. I tried to help him once. He nitpicked my flying technique, and that was the end of that. The nerve. Why is he roping you into his broom testing silliness? You've barely started flying from what I know. Caught wind of you showing off in flying class with Clopton. Sure enough. That's not what happened. I don't know what people have said, but I certainly wasn't showing off. Tell that to the rest of the school. But it doesn't matter. Everyone knows that class is only for beginners, troublemakers, and bumbling baboons. But for some reason, now people think you're competition. Ugh, I can't be having that. Perhaps I am competition. You're not even Slytherin. Could be a useless squib for all I know. Enough of this. Only one way to find out who's the better flyer. I hold one of the fastest times on this course. Let's see if you can beat it. Slytherin versus Ravenclaw. Actually, why not? I can beat your record. I'm so looking forward to seeing you lose. All right, as I said before, I hate these and I'm not very good at them, so I don't know how. Made it. <laughs> now that's more like it. I thought I missed that one. You get points taken off if you miss one. Did it. it that one too ha! good I've got this oh man I hate that I just got lucky I did it on the first try oh, that's not you, you must have cheated you oh Fine. You won. <sighs> Don't think this is over. You can't determine skill from one single trial. Surely my win means something. Eh, you're not terrible, but you're still going to have to prove yourself if you want to earn my respect. Challenge accepted, then. Perhaps you have what it takes after all. We shall see. But don't get your hopes up. The next course near Irondale offers a much tougher challenge. You can try to prepare by racing this course again. Just check in at the podium where the leaderboard is. You can check your time and start the race. We'll see next time if your win here was more than just a fluke. Whilst on an errand for Albie Weeks. All right, so, um, hey, I did it the first time. It, I hate that. I just hate that because I'm not good at it at all. Anyway, this... I suspect Mr. Weeks will be glad to hear how I fared. This is a good point to stop the uh, episode and, uh, and take a break. I hope to see you in the next one. Ta-ta for now.